Hi everyone, this is Marie Blue Angel here, and I'm back with A Date With Death. I couldn't keep you all, and also myself, um, hanging for too long. I need to know what's going to happen at the end of this week. Will Casper take my soul? Or will he lose and I will take his soul? I don't know. We will see. Whatever choices I've made will lead to one end or the other, or multiple. There's probably multiple. Um... But this is great. I'm really enjoying this. Um, so yeah, let's say hi to Pepper. Hi, Pepper. Tell Pepper a joke. What do you call a dog magician? Pepper. Pepper doesn't reply, but you know she can't wait for the punchline. A labracadabrador. A labracadabrador. I did say it right the first time. A labracadabrador. A labracadabrador. I probably said it wrong, but I love it. Pepper doesn't laugh, but that's because she's a dog. The joke was definitely appreciated, though. Oh, okay. Read a book from the bookshelf. I love the books. Dear... I think I've read this one before. Okay, I definitely have read this before. So we'll just skip that. Um, water. Water it some more. One seems like an unlucky number to you. Better to water it twice, right? Oh, I forgot that I just watered the plant. My bad. Sorry, plant. Okay. I want to go see what the laptop has for me. What does the internet want to say? Only Reaper. No. What are these illustrate? Not these. <laughs> These illustrate only. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, we have to go to our gallery because we had seen. Oh, that's a that's a grim. That was a preview. Oh my gosh. Um, this is a little sketch for when we saw Casper last night. I love it. It's like wow. Look at me all confident and cool, sipping like this outside your window. Floating, rather. Not the blushing. Ah, <laughs> oh, not the flowers. How cute. Not the giving the flowers. Oh, so adorable. And it rendered. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. We love to see it. Anyways. Ha ha ha. Let's just go to the chat room. These flowers are beautiful, Grim. I'm gonna change my little when the tool status thing. Thank you for the flower. Beautiful flowers. Ah, uh, I guess I should call you Casper, rather. Not this. The illustration. Call me whatever you wish to. You really know how to sweep me off my feet. They're really pretty. Good. I'm glad to see they are appreciated. The struggle was worth it. The struggle? You don't have any florists near you? There aren't. These aren't from a florist. Where are they from? And no, there are no florists here. Did you grow them yourself? No. They would not bloom like this here. Flowers are rare. And do I look like some sort of gardener to you? <laughs> I bet you've never gardened in your life. How did you get them then? <laughs> I took them from the front yard of a mortal woman. I believe she's what your kind referred to as a grandmother. You stole from an old woman. Oh, Grim. In her defense, she gave good chase. I was impressed. 
She chased you down? She certainly tried her best, but there was no hope for her to catch me. Either way, they are in much better hands with you. I've got something of a green thumb, luckily. I've got a plant by my bed, and it's growing nicely. Maybe I've got the magic touch. Unlike me, in real life, I cannot keep plants alive, unfortunately. A magic touch, hmm? I feel like you're insinuating something here. I'm talking about the plant. Ah, uh, yes, the plant. I was just talking about you in general. Wowee, Mr. Flirt over here. Your hands were very soft. I could tell, even through my gloves. Soft and warm. Oh, shush you. Shh me all you want. It is the truth. I feel as though if I reached out, our hands would fit each other's perfectly. Are you trying to tell me something? Perhaps. I will leave that to you to decide. So, I mean, I'm just wondering about something, actually. Are you feeling okay today? Why wouldn't I be feeling okay? You're acting very, um, flirtatious. If so, then I am being successful in my endeavor. Well, yes. I have read that flirting is a human custom. <laughs> I mean, it is. A custom? Indeed. To flirt with another is to show them that they are of significance to yourself. Or you would like them to be of significance to yourself. So, I'm... I'm of significance to you? I mean, Casper gave us flowers. I would think so. You are what I hunt most greatly over anything else. Hunt. <laughs> Not hunting. I would say that makes you significant. My research into various flirting methods say that anyway. You've researched flirting methods. I feel touched. <laughs> Who is touching you? Are you not there alone? Such a big head, but such a little brain. My head is perfectly proportional to my body. No one is touching me. Well, good. No one is touching you yet. Yet? <laughs> my god, this flirting. <laughs> I am trying to take it slow. Wow, someone's confident. According to my notes, dates are important before anything further happens between people. Uh, oh. Your notes are very in-depth. Where did you get them? Somewhere on the internet. <laughs> Through the wide information hub called the Internet. It is a compiled and comprehensive survey taken on how to romance correctly. I'm confused, though. Are we not trying- are you not trying to check my soul still? Or is this a- is this a ploy to get my soul? Who knows? I can remain a little skeptical. I don't want to be, but I have to. A little bit, at least. Like a dummy's guide to dating. The text refers to it as a walkthrough, actually. What a strange thing to call it. A dating walkthrough. Yes, I am following it carefully. There are many steps. And what do you hope to get out of it? You. <laughs> Your soul, obviously. Well, even if you were only flirting with me to get my soul, can't say I mind all that much. Flirt away. I don't know what this is either. Is it like, like, salute, let go? What is this? It's a salute, doofus. Ah, see, I got it. Okay. Oh, I should try using that. Ah, uh, yes, I see it now. I have never seen this salute. Perhaps I shall adopt it. <laughs> so cute. Ah, I have come up with another. 
hi. That looks like a hi. This one is a wave. Truly groundbreaking stuff. I've never used either one of these. This is good to know. By the way, won't you get in trouble? For flirting? Well, that is not allowed, of course. No, no. For telling me classified information. Enlighten me. What classified information have I shared with you? Casper. Yes? You said, you said your name was highly classified. Not for mortal ears, right? Ah, that. Maybe some more rules are worth breaking. Hearing you, hearing you call me grim in person made me feel cringe. <laughs> Who taught you that word? I am down with the internet lingo, Marie. I know about cringe, pog, riz. <laughs> I have even heard more of this baby girl. <laughs> have you? <laughs> <laughs> you saying things like that is just oh i don't know if it's incorrect please don't ever say those words ever again your opinion has been noted and subsequently disregarded sunshine but seriously your name was actually classified correct if anyone comes and asks about me then it is best if you keep quiet i doubt anyone will anyway you're going to have my soul by tomorrow right Right. Always best to be cautious, anyway. Though you aren't the most cautious person. You allowed a total stranger to install a messaging app on your computer. Then fell in love at first sight with his handsome face and charming personality. You are a dork. Huh. I am far from a dork. I am charming and good-looking. A charming and good-looking... Good-looking dork. My favorite. <laughs> the charming part could go either way, though. Though I cannot lie, I am capable of seeing through them, little human. Now that we are both here, though, on a much more serious note, I must admit to you that, other than giving you flowers, I had an ulterior motive for my visit. Oh, what was it? Don't misunderstand, Marie. I wanted to give you those flowers. I also wanted to test out a theory I had. H All right, what was it then? What was it? Like, I I'm curious. I was experiencing another bout of soul sickness yesterday. Oh, you were? You didn't say anything. It was less a less severe case, but still an awful experience. Again? It's really a common thing for you reapers, huh? Actually, no. Well, it never used to be for me. I seem to be more susceptible lately. Which leads me to an important question. Why? Did you find out why? Let's do this over a call. Wait, is it serious? Are you going to die? Grim? Casper? Please don't tell me you're dying. If that's what you're going to say, I'm not going to answer. I don't think I'm dying. You're not really inspiring confidence right now. No, listen, I swear, you mortals are just so bad at listening. You in particular. We talked about this the other day. Think back on it. Do you remember? Of course, I remember. You're right. Good. Do you remember how I felt the day after my sickness? You were fine. It made no sense. I just thought it was a mere coincidence that after linking of our, the linking of our minds, the symptoms disappeared. You jokingly claimed to be healing me with your presence. And then yesterday... What about it? That morning I was faring souls across the life stream, and it was like... Uh, hells, if they trace this conversation, the two of us may suffer for all of eternity. At least we'll be suffering together. You always look on the bright side of things, don't you? 
I picked the right flowers for you. Bright like a sunflower. Anyway, this is important. You seem very stressed about this. Tell me. Maybe I can help. The ans then answer the call, and we can discuss it. Grim! Hey. Greetings and all that, but please start talking. Well, to put it bluntly, bluntly is appreciated. I think it's because of you. Yeah, you're definitely causing it in the messages, Grim writes. How? Me? What exactly is because of me? The soul sickness I'm experiencing. I've gotten it much more since I've known you. How would I... In the messages, Grim writes, maybe you're just too radiant. I knew the nickname Sunshine fit you. Um... Don't you get that from souls? I'm alive! Yes, it is from souls. Yet I've suffered from it regardless. Are you trying to say I'm doing this on purpose? I'm really not trying to make you sick. I'm not saying you are the cause of the sickness, but I do think you are the cause of why I seem to be more susceptible to it. Is it because I, you haven't reaped my soul yet? And what does that mean? So seeing me yesterday made you sick? No. My soul was unbalanced before I came to you. I came to see you if it would go, I came to see if it would go away. That was my theory. But it couldn't have. But it did. Sunshine, it did. What? You didn't do it on purpose, then. And do you have any clue what you're doing? No, I... I have no idea what you're even saying. What are you talking about? It's your soul. You're giving it away, so to speak. Huh? What does that mean? How would I even... Do you ever wish, mortal? Feel something so strongly. Want for something so badly. In the messages, Grimm says, Casper says, there are things I have been wanting for so strongly the last few days. It is infuriating. Ooh, tell me more, actually. For the things that matter, yes? You said that Pepper was ill yesterday, correct? And now she is fine. Yes, yes? Yeah, perfectly normal. What exactly are you getting at? I think you did it then, as well. You are giving parts of yourself away. To your sick pet. To your plant. To me. Things you want to be healthy. Things you want to live. Oh. Uh, I think you are taking the taint away. Or maybe neutralizing it. I don't know. I got an even better look at your soul when I visited you. I understand the pulsing now. It's because you do not have a full soul. <gasps> what? I don't have a full soul? Is this going to uh, affect the fairing of my soul to the afterlife thing? I have... I have never seen a soul that is not full, so I cannot answer your question. <sighs> but if you were to give it all away... Well, I assume you would just simply cease to be. Just like that, and I'm nothing? Would I be forgot- I, I like the, would I be forgot- Would I be forgotten? I, I would never forget you, our time together. In the messages, Casper writes, you are rather unforgettable. I think that fact will cause me much trouble in the future. Ah, oh, you think I'm special. So, maybe try to be careful. 
Don't wish too hard is all I'm saying. I mean, maybe the MC is just like naturally good hearted, but like, wouldn't that explain? Like, wouldn't there be more people who would have not full souls that Casper would have already run into, or other Grim Reapers would have had run into already? If that was more common, just to easily give away your soul, I would think that. How do I stop? What if I give it all away? I don't mind. I'll take the sickness, the taint. How about a shotgun wedding? Shotgun wedding. Um, how about shotgun wedding? What? You know, you're trying to take my soul and everything. And if that doesn't happen, I'll accidentally give away my soul all by myself. If I'm not going to be around long, around long, I'd rather cross a few things off my bucket list first. And this bucket list of yours involves marriage? Um, yeah, I've always wanted to get married. I didn't care about getting married before I met you. Marriage is whatever, but it might be fun to do. You only live once, right? Um, <laughs> I want to push Grimm, so I'm going to say that, uh, Casper, I'm going to say I want to get married to you. Basically say get married to you. I don't, I didn't care about getting married before I met you. <laughs> his face. He's like, uh, it, ew. Ah, we're talking about something serious, you know? And then you start spouting nonsense about marriage. It's not nonsense. I'm totally serious. Let's, let's worry about your soul for now and working out why you, why you are the way you are. Marriage, we can, um, talk about it. We can talk about that later. By the way, Casper, have you ever heard of Casper the Friendly Ghost? Excuse me? In the messages, Casper says, the way you can jump from topic to topic is remarkable. You ought to be studied. I don't do that. I do. <laughs> I love it. You're excused, so yes or no. I have not heard of it, so I suppose the answer is no. Really? You kind of have that vibe going for you. A friendly ghost vibe. A friendly ghost vibe? I am neither of those things. Grim in the messages says, Oh, you really do. I doubt you and I could ever have a quiet moment. Are you envisioning futures together? A future together, Grim? Casper? Mm -hmm. You have friendly moments. Sometimes. Okay, occasionally. And I'm not certain you aren't a ghost. You're awfully pale. Well, I'm certain that I am not a ghost. Like I've said many times, you really do have a vivid imagination. Unless you let it run so wild all the time. Definitely. It's actually very freeing. I've got a whole fantasy world up in my head. It's fun. And that is freeing to you how. <laughs> that just sounds confusing to me. It's some it's comforting to have somewhere I can retreat to. I can imagine and create a world in whatever way I please. Huh. It's a little escape escape from reality. It's like that actually. You want to leave reality? Leave? No. I don't wish to n I don't wish to not be part of this reality. I just like imagining things and story building. Maybe I should write a book. Maybe you should. He got shot. He was so shocked. Hmm. Huh. Well, I cannot s say I fully understand, but it seems like a good use of your creative talents, heart heart, even if your imagination perhaps runs a little wi too wild. Even if your imagination perhaps Runs a little too wild sometimes. You know, we've come a long way, huh? You seem less edgy than when we first met. I was never edgy. I am death. <laughs> there it is. Still, you say stuff like that a lot less. I, I don't believe I have changed all that much. In the messages, Casper writes, I am the same as always. Nothing has changed. Nope, 
Not my feelings or anything. Not at all. Mighty suspicious, Casper. Actually, what does this mean? Who knows? I don't believe I have changed all that much. Maybe it's because we're friends now. Hmm. I don't see you as a friend. Okay. Oh. You don't? That kind of hurts, you know. You didn't have to say it right to my face. You misunderstand. I thought it was pretty uh, straightforward. Can't you see? Look at the blushy blush on this man, Marie. <laughs> Sorry, I want him to say it, that's why. Fuck. I thought you were more perceptive than this. I have been flirting with you for days. <laughs> But Casper, how am I supposed to know if this is a scheme, a plot, a ploy to gather, to reap my soul or not? Or are you actually flirting because you want to? I thought it was for for reaping soul purposes. Yes, you have been. Yes, and you can flirt without anything else. That's true. Hells. Uh... <laughs> So cute. The? It's not something I expected. I could never have expected this. It's not something I chose. It's it's a terrible idea all around, honestly. To not want to be friends? Stop talking. <laughs> I Uh-huh. I enjoy your company. I really enjoy it, okay? I enjoy it too much. Way too much. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my gosh. He's nervous. Why? Why me? Why do I have to feel like this? It's unfair, honestly. I have done nothing but follow the rules up until now. I have been a good reaper. And now my heart tells me... It tells me to throw it all away. What What are you talking about? What do you mean by too much? I didn't expect to... To feel like this. Feel so... Feel so strongly. You were supposed to just be another job. Are supposed to be just another job. But that's changed. You don't... You don't think like that anymore your soul is one i must collect there's no way out of it it is my job as a reaper it is a task i must fulfill but i i find myself wanting to disobey to break all the rules i have so carefully followed until this week so why don't you if i do They'll just send someone else. That was I. That I was thinking that. Mm -hmm. I am easily replaceable. I am one of thousands. You're not replaceable to me. But that's not what I'm trying to say exactly. Okay. What is it you want to tell me then? What I'm trying to say <clears throat> is that I. I don't want to be friends. Okay, we've, we've established that, Casper. I don't want that at all. I found, I found myself wanting to be selfish. Because I want more. More from you. More than friendship. Me is like, shit, you like me. Should I question that? I feel like you're sure. I feel like, even though this has only been a week, you probably thought about it a lot. Uh, I don't know if I should tease him about it. Shit. Tell me about it. I like you, Marie. I don't know why, or how, or what to do about it. But I... I like you very much. Oh my gosh, Casper, this is so cute. I'm dying from the cuteness. I'm sorry, I'm keeping this. You're in a, your expression is you're in a state of like, what's gonna happen? It angers me how much I can't hate you. In the messages, 
Casper writes, Dear gods above, Dear gods above, This is the most embarrassing thing I have ever done. Do not perceive me. <laughs> I want to perceive you. Oh, you're so brave, Casper. Kudos to people who do that. Um, it's definitely a hard, it's like a very vulnerable spot to be in. I should, but instead you've done this to me. Ruin me completely. Well. <clears throat> anyway. Cool. Now. <laughs> Wait, you can't just, <laughs> you're just gonna go. Okay, Casper. I don't think we're gonna- Am I gonna let you go? Now that you've said this? Now that that's- Now that that's all said and done, I'm going to go. Time for a long, cold shower. <laughs> it just ended! I didn't even get to say it as Casper! Wow! You really said all of that and then left. This is so adorable. My heart is like- Loving every single moment of this. Come back! Come on, Casper. You don't need to be so shy. I am not being shy. Sounds like a sounds like something a shy person would say. You'll find I am actually quite forward. A shy person wouldn't be so straightforward about their desires. So you desire me? That... That should be obvious to you. <laughs> well... You do need a cold shower now. Ah. Uh, that is unrelated. <laughs> I must wash my hair. I must wash my hair. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> You do have very long hair. Glad I had that effect on you. I can just imagine the smirk on your face. You are a wicked woman, mortal. <laughs> you are a wicked woman, mortal. By the way, since it's somewhat topical, do you ever cut your hair? I'm curious. You don't like my hair? I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. I was just curious. It's very long. It must have taken a long time to grow out. I don't. There's no need for me to cut it, anyway. I, it really suits you, you know? Thanks. Little compliments. Your hairstyle also suits you. Thank you. You'll just keep growing it, then. No. But you just said... My hair does not grow like a mortal's. Mine has simply always been this way. If someone attacked you with scissors, it wouldn't grow back? <laughs> not attacked you with scissors. Do you plan to attack me with scissors? As fun as it would be... To see you with shorter hair, no. I wouldn't do that to you. That's just mean. And I quite like how you are right now. Pretty long hair and an attitude. What more could a girl ask for? Lots of money, fame, immortality. All right, those sound good, too. But I could also settle without. As long as I get my grumpy, yet charming Reaper, that is. I am sure there's plenty of charming Reapers out there. Why are you selling yourself short, Casper? You forgot the grumpy part. Oh, so sorry. My bad. Wait a second. You were born with hair that long? What? I can't imagine a baby with hair like yours. You misunderstand. 
I suppose I haven't ever really explained. I was not born. I was never a baby or a child. I was created solely for my purpose as a Grim Reaper. I have always looked the way I do now. Oh. But what about before you were a Reaper? There was not a before. Well, to be honest, I do not know what was before. It is classified, even for me. All I know is that we are created somehow, then given our job. That is why I seem to live for my job. I literally do. Could you have been human once? Maybe they wiped your memories or something. I could not guess. I suppose it's possible. I have a soul, so it came from somewhere. I'm not totally artificially created, I think. So, what happens if you want to quit? I would probably be forcefully terminated. That doesn't sound healthy. No, I would say death is not healthy. Anyway, speaking of hair and all that, I'm going to wash mine now. <laughs> Still need that cold shower, huh? I will talk to you later, sunshine. Thank you for answering my confession with how about a haircut, by the way. <laughs> well, you, there were compliments in there, Grim. I think that's a good telltale sign. But whatever. We have to be more direct about it. Oh, yeah, sorry. Tomorrow, Marie. The last day of our bet. Good night. Until tomorrow, Casper. Until tomorrow, Casper. My gosh, that was so good. Oh, new items added to our gallery. Oh, wait, we gotta go, go, go see that. Go the next day. Okay. You woke up early this morning, feeling particularly well-rested. No one came for your soul in the night, which means... Today is the final day of your bet. You almost can't contain your excitement. After all, you seem to have this in the bag. Do not jinx it. You decide not to go out anywhere today, safer to stay at home and write out your win. It's still early in the morning as you wait for the eventual message from your own personal Grim Reaper. Also, maybe if that means if we win the bet, we would have his soul, but then he could we could do whatever we wanted. Could we be together? Because I feel like if he takes my soul, then I'm just gone. Unless he breaks the rules and we're on the run forever. If we were to stay together forever, I don't know. I don't know what the end game here is. Um, but yeah, that, these are some of my thoughts. That was absolutely too adorable, though. The confession had me just like, you know, you can hear me squealing, giggling, happy, whatever. It's just very cute to see. Um, since this seems like this is the last part, I'm going to just continue. Um, so this is the last night of the bet. Very exciting. The dawn of the final day, or something. You don't particularly feel like you're going to die today. Something about the Grim Reaper you've come to know feels too... soft for things to end like that. Perhaps you can celebrate your win early. You could. Um, Go on a shopping spree? Everyone needs a little treat sometimes. But for now, you just said I... Uh, I was going to say, we shouldn't celebrate early. But for now, you decide not to celebrate too early. There'll be plenty of time for that in the future. Pepper. Tell Pepper that I love her. You go on to tell Pepper how much you love her for 15 minutes. It's not enough. She deserves even more. You get Pepper some treats, hang out together, and overall just enjoy each other's company this morning. You love Pepper so much, words cannot even come close to describing how you feel. And in return, you feel immense love from Pepper as she wags her cute little tail. Oh, Pepper. I'm gonna water this plant. The buds on your little plant seem to be doing well. You can't believe how healthy it is. Though after what Casper told you, you're starting to understand why. Look at the bookshelf. Pick a new book to read. 
my favorite quote. You flip to the end of your favorite childhood book, resting against the page, it is a quote that stuck with you. If there's one thing you retain from your if there's one thing you retain from your journey, I hope it is this. Enjoy your life. Appreciate the small moments. Love with your entire heart. Not every moment has to be epic. A life filled with great deeds is also filled with great exhaustion. The smallest, most average moments can can contain extraordinary beauty if you pay attention. We spend so much time hoping for rest, for the moment when we can relax, for the moment we can, when we can relax. But true peace comes not at the end, but in the middle. It will take a great, it will take effort to experience these small joys and stop merely hoping for big ones. So, dear reader, this is my gift to you. Live every moment like it's your last. And don't forget how damn lucky you are that you will get more. Oh, that's nice. That's a good sentiment. I agree. That's something that I personally am working on. Appreciating the smaller things in life. The more seemingly mundane, routine moments and activities. And finding the small things to appreciate. Like when the sun comes out and it's a cold winter's day. Like it currently is where I'm at. The sun has come out today, yesterday, and the day before it was it did not. It was super gloomy. So I really appreciate that, even though it's too cold to go outside, so I most likely won't. Um so yes. Live your life as best as you can and take advantage of every moment. And it doesn't have to be bigger or small. It can be big or it can be small the moment or the activity or the thing you do, but just appreciate try to appreciate it all. As a reminder to myself, really. That's nice. I like that though for the last day. Let's see what the neighbors are doing. The hallway beyond is quiet. It seems you missed the ending to the story. Oh, well, I didn't really check in the last couple days. I guess I'll check my computer. I don't know what else I have going on. Um, let's look at the gallery. Hmm? I feel like I had new stuff in the gallery. Did I miss something? Oh. Well, I think this was there. This, that was a sketch. <laughs> um, okay. What's the internet say? Have patience, please. Loading. Please wait. It's probably going to keep buffering like that. Loading. I can't get on the internet. Today, on the computer, it says... Oh, there's definitely not, says the screen. Um... It's November 11th, 20XX. Ooh, an achievement. Okay, I don't know what I, I don't know if I achieved anything, but that's fine. I didn't get anything in the gallery, did I? No, that's okay. 10, 15 a.m. It is a sunny 66, 6, 66 degree Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, whatever. Degree day. Love it. That's warm. That's lovely. Okay, I guess we have to go on this now. Let's go to the chat room. What else am I doing, Grim? I don't apparently have any other hobbies I do. <laughs> Morning, baby girl. <laughs> Morning, baby girl. <laughs> I've been hearing about like the promotions, baby, like Casper, baby girl ja Casper. It's so funny. It's the big day. Look at this picture! Oh my god, it says you have my heart. Oh, uh, I have to add mine. And mine, yours. Whatever. That's cute. Okay. Indeed it is. A week has gone by rather quickly. Oh, time sure flies when you're having fun, huh? So, you're just assuming I've been having fun. Well, I know you can't lie. So why don't you tell me? Did you have fun talking with me? Do you have fun talking with me? Do you think I have fun talking to you? Casper! <laughs> don't avoid my question. <laughs> don't answer my question with another question. Why not? You're doing it again. I am. Or am I? You're lucky I like you, asshole. 
If I did not have fun talking to you, I would have stopped days ago. Does this satisfy your needs? <laughs> I could think of a few more you could satisfy. You, you are very indecent. Are mortals always so forward? I could die. You know, you could reap my soul today. I have no idea. You know, might as well be a bit forward. What do you mean? You said you could think of a few more needs I could satisfy. Huh? I was thinking you could cook me a nice meal. Hmm. Is your mind in the gutter, little reaper? That is not what you meant. It definitely is. You are out here trying to change our age rating. Hmm. You imply such things. Of course my mind is going to drift in such directions. <laughs> uh, no, I'm totally pure like an angel. Ah, you're such a naughty boy. Ew. You are a bad girl to match then. Thank you. <laughs> I've worked hard to achieve this level of bad. No, this definitely comes natural to you. You were born a little gremlin. You know what? You're totally right. Hmm. By the way, before we go any further, I had something to talk about. That doesn't sound ominous at all. I have hit the books, so to speak. You've been studying, Grimmy? Yes. As I said yesterday, your soul's incomplete because you give, keep giving parts of it away. Something that is usually not possible for a mortal. That answered some of my questions. Why your soul seemed to feel so strange. How you managed to take my soul sickness away. But it didn't answer enough. I have so many more questions. I found the answer. <gasps> what answer? Huh? Lay it on me, Casper. Marie, you embody life just as I embody death. <gasps> oh my gosh. Side note, I was just reading a duology. And it's called... Oh my god, what is it called? It's, I don't know what the technical series is called, but it's, it's the first one is called Belladonna. It's by Adeline Grace, and the second one is called Foxglove by Adeline G Grace. And basically, there's, a, there's one of the characters... Or, not one of the characters, but, like, one of the characters is looking for someone that they lost in their life before who embodies life and power, and, like, subsequently has powers of life and giving and creating and whatever. <sighs> Which is really interesting. Um, I hadn't, like, before that series, I hadn't really read anything more recently where that was coming into play, so this is actually good timing, um, funny enough. Um, that... The character, like the main character now, is someone who embodies life. And so that makes sense, like, why, in this case, she is giving, like, parts of her soul and able to do that. Because that's, again, like Grim, like Casper is saying, that's not usually a thing mortals do. So let's see what else he has to say, or what else he found. Marie, you embody life just as I embody death. Huh? My research led to me led me to a rare trait that shows maybe only once every thousand years or so in a mortal. Maybe only ever thousand or so years in a mortal. You have the touch of life on your soul. You are life, so to speak. That is why I have not been able to take your soul. That is how you avoid death without a thought. That is why you heal as you do. You are special. You've always been special. Well, that's a lot. Wow. So, I'm immortal now? I am unsure. Perhaps. There's only one way to find out. And that will be me trying to take your soul one final time. Grimmy, let's be serious for a second. It's obvious to us that you aren't taking my soul. Just admit, def admit to defeat and we can, I don't know, plan our wedding or something instead? Our... Our what? Our wedding? You're still spouting about that nonsense. Yep. I want to get married to you, Grimmy. <laughs> Casper, please. I told you yesterday. Shotgun wedding. 
Unless you don't ever want to get married? That's cool too. I never. It is not something I have ever given much thought to. Well, give it some now, please. This does not mean I admit to defeat, you know. You're going, you're going to come and take my soul then? Hmm. I suppose I am not. No. How far the great has fallen. <laughs> I am akin to Icarus, and you are my son. How poetic. But Icarus also, you know, yeah, you fall in a lot. Hmm. You, you're such a sweetie, letting me keep my soul. What can I say? I'm just so generous. I'd say as thanks, you probably owe me a favor now. <laughs> Is that the game? Next game you want to play? I do like a good game. You're my kind of guy, Grim. I hope so. I'm serious about the wedding, though. So think about it. Of course you are. I don't think I am marriage material. That is so incorrect. It's almost funny. You are 100%, 110% husband material. You're like a dream. How could you not be? I think earlier, like one of the earlier days um, when we were talking to, to Casper, it's like, well, you have a job. You have your own place. You're like, like, that's like, you know, the more like logistical, like whatever things we could worry about. But then like, what about your personality and you like me and you care about me? I guess like at the end of the day, doesn't, nothing's ever guaranteed. But a lot of these, at least a lot of these attributes or a lot of these case, like situations or circumstances, like criteria is the word I was looking for. It makes sense. You were, you were definitely, you're, you're, you're marriage material. Um, let's see. Um, that is so incorrect. It's almost funny. How can you not see that? I'm a reaper, in case you have forgotten. And that doesn't exactly scream, marry me. It does to me. Why, when you stare at me with your stupidly pretty eyes, I can tell. Absolutely husband material. Firstly, that makes no sense. Let me flirt with you, <laughs> Casper, please. Let it, it doesn't have to make that much sense. Secondly, I stare because I've been trying to figure out how the hell you've lived this lived so long? You are a mess of a mortal. What can I say? I'm just that good at staying alive. You know what else I'm good at? I dread to think. But do go ahead and grace me with whatever it is you must say. Planning weddings. <laughs> are specifically, of course. You are just teasing me. I'd marry you in a heartbeat. Mm. <laughs> ah, shit. I didn't mean to hit the call button, but you did. You weren't supposed to answer. Hang up this instant, mortal, or I will have your soul immediately. <laughs> Why are you so embarrassed? You're so cute. And miss seeing you so flushed at the idea of marriage? Never. Ugh. Were you, were you thinking an indoor or outdoor reception? Uh, what? You heard me. Inside or outside? I guess it depends on the season. If my favorite season is fall and we're thinking about that, it could still be outside. I like an outside for some, that'd be fun. I don't, we. Outside it is then. Nine hells, Marie. You're cute. You are suddenly going on and on about marriage. Surely I'm the last person you'd want to do that with. You're the only person I want to do it with. Did you change your mind about me since yesterday? Uh, if only I could have. Hating you would make my life much easier. Sunshine, I've come to desire you above everything else. Maybe that's just a one-sided wish, though. Okay, apparently because us as the main character, me as the main character, is not, I'm not apparently not being direct enough. He thinks I'm just teasing about the wedding. It's not a one-sided wish, Casper. 
Oh, Casper. Um, I've liked you for a long time now. I think I'm in love with you. Love is like real strong. Did you say that you loved us or did you say that like, I'm gonna go with the first one. I've liked you for a long time now, but like, yeah. I thought that would be obvious with all this talk of weddings. Did you think I was just teasing you? Uh, are, are you pulling another prank on me? Is, is this a joke? No, I'm serious. A grim reaper cannot, oh, a grim reaper cannot refuse to take a soul, you know. Neither can they run away with someone to get married. You've been breaking a lot of rules lately. Anyway, right? Are you offering to hide me? What if I was? Then, theoretically speaking, maybe in some place with flowers? Sounds perfect. I love flowers. And maybe in a season where the sun shines bright. If you'd like. Theoretically. <laughs> maybe? <laughs> You call me Sunshine and want to get married in the sunshine. Um, you are so pure hearted. You really are. Okay, maybe not completely pure. 50% pure at least. <laughs> 50%? That is incorrect. Oh, 75%? <laughs> Marie, when I'm around you, I am a zero on the pyramid scale. Hmm, <laughs> that works for me. So, what would you wear to our hypothetical wedding? Something fancy. Okay, but you would look good in like everything. Most everything, I'm sure. I would wear something that complements my good looks. Exactly. I honestly think that could be anything you wear. I know. I bet you turn up in your usual outfit. I will wear something else. Something special. You will? Going to dress up for me, Casper. Only if you do the same. It will only be fair. Mwah. I like how you've switched from I woulds to I wills, by the way. <laughs> uh huh? And you can't even deny it. You twist my w You twist my words. There's no twisting needed. You've said it all yourself already. So let me just be plain with you. Uh. Do you want to get married? Just run away and leave everything else behind. Pepper's coming though, of course, you should know that. I told you, it's not something I've really ever thought about. That's not what I'm asking you, Grim. Or Casper, rather. I've called you Grimmy for so long. Naughty Casper, don't try to weasel your way out of my questions. Gods, you're good. Oh, I know. Give me a yes or a no. Do you or do you not want to get married? I mean, this is a lot to think about, to be honest. I, well, hmm. I suppose it would be nice if you wanted to. How are you so, just so cute? You really want to do it, don't you? You want to marry me so bad it makes you flustered. I, I can't believe I want you. Of all the mortals, it had to be you. You're so dramatic, <laughs> Casper. And for some reason, I would... And for some reason, I would have it no other way. Ah! A line. What a line. That you also want me makes my chest feel a heaviness I had never felt before. Then, I guess we have no choice but to just do it. No need to delay the inevitable, after all. I've never been very patient, I suppose. Then, I'd say we're in agreement. A wedding in the sunlight, with pretty flowers. Do you have any other requirements? 
that you wear something really pretty and that I get a picture of you in it. You can have as many pictures as you want. I'll wear a really nice dress. Pictures, oh, pictures of you with the flowers. We'll get some together as well, obviously. I think we'd look to get good together in photos. You're really into this. Hey, as if you aren't. I'm looking forward to it, Casper. Yes, well, you'll need some patience, Marie. Weddings do not spring out of nowhere, hypothetical or not. That just gives me time to plan it. You're enjoying this way too much. Um... Well, a pretty man just told me I don't need to die today. Well, you see, the man fated to take my soul has fallen for me. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you see, the man fated to take my soul has fallen for me. And shy as he is, wants to get married to me instead. He couldn't resist my killer personality. <laughs> killer. Sure, that's definitely what it was. I love it when you can't lie. You are the worst person in existence. And for some reason, I love it. Ugh. <laughs> I want to come see you, Marie. Oh, heart, heart. Perfect. We can chat all about this in person. Wait for me, okay? Of course. See you soon, future husband of mine. Oh my god, that's so fucking cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. What's gonna happen? I'm scared. Oh, oh wait, it happened. Wait, where are we? Oh my god! Look at this suit! Oh my god, this is so cute. Look at the sunflowers and the little, like, vineage on these little columns and the sun. It's just so sunny and the sky is bright and clear and lovely. Oh my god. You're giving me ideas for if I ever do get married. This is so lovely. Marie. Oh, you look so gorgeous! Uh-huh. Casper, you look... Is it okay? You look to die for. <laughs> ha. I would have gone with... Devish... Devish... I would have gone with devish... Devilishly handsome. I don't know why I can't say devilishly right now. But to die for seems adequate, considering how we met. I'm pretty sure you told me you were devilish. Devish, uh. I'm pretty sure you told me you were devilishly handsome back then yourself. Then you know I wasn't lying. With a hand outstretched, so cute. You are a troublesome thing. You do look really good, though. Like really good. You do. The suit really suits you. You even styled your hair differently. You too, sunshine. You're beautiful. More than words can ever come close to explaining. I have to admit, I'm feeling a little nervous. It's just me. I am trying to ignore the feeling, but it's quite strange. How so? I've always been good at what I do. Call me arrogant, but it's true. This is the most important thing I've ever done, and I want to get it right. You could, um, you could be standing there in a trash bag and you'd still be doing it right. Thanks? You're welcome, my love. The blush. You picked sunflowers. They remind me of you. I couldn't pick anything else. Marie. My sunshine. Shall we get married? Take his hand right away. Smirk and take his hand. Wait a good few seconds. Wiggle your eyebrows and take his hand. <laughs> 
I thought you were never going to ask. We've been planning this for ages already. <laughs> There's nothing better in life than bullying you a bit, especially at our wedding. Somehow, even that makes me happy. I love you, Marie. I love you, Marie. Always have, and always will. I love you too, Casper. And I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. Aww. This is all so cute. Me too. Uh, me too, Marie. Oh my god, they were so cute. My god. <laughs> Ending five rings. We're hella getting married. Let's do it. Okay. I love that for us. A date with death credits. Yes. Two and a half studios. Woo. Go all to the lead developers, lead producers, the game designers. Yes. Oh my gosh. Lovely, lovely people. Lead writer, assistant writer and editor, lead character artist, environmental artist, programmers, composition, graphic design, and additional assets. Wow, this is really wonderful. It's so cute. There, there, that means there are four other endings. I think one of them is definitely um, the patrons, also very important. Um, there are also, what was I trying to say? I was trying to say that definitely there's an ending where um, when we give, we can choose to give our soul to Grimm like early on, I'm pretty sure. Um, so definitely want to check that out. I also, thank you. I really love this. This is so amazing. Um, and I'm sure some other ones where we don't get married um, and whatnot, or maybe we're a bit like more not as personal or like trying to understand Casper as much, um, which why would it we? I want to, oh my gosh, not the Grim Reaper plushie. I've been seeing him. <sighs> I think they might already be gone. Don't know, cause it's from the 15th of December. I have to close it because he's too adorable. I want to see the gallery. I'm assuming it's our little wedding. You see, there are three others. There are three others which I assume belong to the other endings. Oh my goodness, look at this. I love that. I love this. Look how good he looks. Oh, that's sweet though. I do wonder exactly how they figure, like, is it just that they'll run away and hide together and whatever or like can't they just put a note in her file saying like she can't her soul can't be reaped let's not do it she embodies i want to know more about that aspect of like the main character embodying life um that's what i'm quite curious i wonder if it's in any of the other endings it could be um but for now we'll i'll leave that for future exploring oh how do i Return, I need to return, press the return button. Yep. okay. Great. Well, that was so wonderful and sweet. I'm finally, so f glad I finally have been able to um, reach one ending and reach the end of of, of one playthrough. Um, I'm debating recording more for the channel to do the other endings. Um, so while I'm debating that, I would highly, highly encourage to download the game as well as the DLC, if you'd like more. Oh my gosh, I forgot the DLC. Definitely the DLC. I need to figure out how to make sure I have everything in the right folders so I can access the DLC ending. Um, but yeah, while I'm debating that, you should definitely check out the game for yourself and see you know, all the fun things you could do with our lovely Casper. Um, all the conversations you can have and see all, all the cute expressions he makes and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this game. It was definitely a game I was like really uh, hyped to play and it definitely lived up to my expectations. And it's so well done and I love the interface and all the art and the music and the writing and just everything. So I'm gonna have to keep playing this for a while either way. But um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already liked this video, please do. Let me know what you think of this particular ending and of our dear Casper in general in the comments. Um, I'd love to gush about him and the main character um, and this ending in particular with people if that's what people want to do. Um, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you'd like to see more playthroughs of other um, 
uh, like visual novel, romance visual novel types, um, because that's mostly what I play. Um, and if you have, a, you have more recommendations, I'm trying to go through some recommendations, but I also have some other games I want to play. Um, please let me know in the comments. I always welcome those. I don't, I don't get to see everything. Um, I just get mostly play games based on whatever I see on like my social media and anything friends suggest, though I don't really have like IRL friends who play the same games as I do. So those are also welcome. And if you just want to chat, that's also quite fun. But anyways, um, I will sign off here. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.